hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the transient models in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials so what we will be discussing is transient model so we already have learned how to define a normal model in order to store data so i told once we define a model or once we define a class it will create a corresponding table inside our database that is inside postgres it will be creating a database to store the information so in all ways there will be no need to store the information in the database suppose i'll show you suppose if i go to crm module and if i switch to the list view and if i open any of the leads here you can see we have a loss button so upon clicking the loss button you can see a pop-up is coming so this pop-up is related with a model actually you can see using this pop-up we can enter some reasons here and on clicking submit it will save the data here you can see the entered data is stored here that is that model is for a temporary purpose either for some temporary information or to printing a report like what i can say if i go to the products so i'll go to the inventory and if i open the product and if i open desk combination here you can see a print labels so if i click on that we will get a pop-up so this pop-up contains a model so this pop-up will be called as wizard in odoo and it is related with a model so thus those models are transient models like it will not create or it will not store information in the database it just need to hold the data for a temporary purpose like choose layout like on clicking print labels it's asking user which format you need just to accept an input from user and it doesn't have any information to store in the database it just accepts some information from user and behave accordingly so if i choose this layout and confirm it will print that layout so regarding the transient model what you have to keep in mind that it will not store data in the database it record the data temporarily for some purpose like to perform some other operation like printing a report something like that so a transient model will not store data in the database so you have to keep this mind in keep this point in your mind so let's see how we can define a transient model in odoo so i'll go to the pie charm and here we have om hospital module so normally all the transient model will be related with wizard so what i'll do is that i will create a new folder inside our module that is new directory called wizard click on ok so what we have done is we have simply created a new folder and i'll copy the init file from here as a sample and i will put it here paste an init file in dot py and i'll keep it as empty so all the transient model that is we will be transient models related with wizard we will be placing inside this folder so if you navigate to odoo source code and if you take odoo add-on any odoo add-on you will see a file called a folder called wizard where all the its related files will be placed so similarly as i'm going to create a transient model i have created a new folder called wizard and now what i have to do i have to create a new class so let me copy the sample of patient tag and i will paste it here and i'll rename it as cancel appointment so i'll come to the point cancel appointment and let me import the same in the init file from dot import cancel appointment so inside the new folder i have added a init file and from the init file i have imported this python file and now inside this python file we will be defining the transient model so this model will we will be using for canceling the appointment so that point we will be discussing later just understand the purpose of the model is to cancel the appointments so i'll give the class name as cancel appointment cancel appointment wizard so once you define a wizard model you can give 
the name like this cancel appointment wizard or something like that then name cancel dot appointment appointment park the typo appointment dot wizard and let me remove this tag so that's done now i'll copy the class name and i will add it as description for the class so simply i have defined a new class right now it's still models dot model that is a normal model but i need transient model then you have to give models dot transient model so this is how you can define so earlier we have defined models dot model which will create a normal database table but here we are giving it as models dot transient model name is given description is given and you can add your fields as per your need so i'll simply add one field a many to one field of appointment first of the things are same appointment id appointment id fields dot many to one i need to select appointment so core model is hospital dot appointment and i will give a string string appointment so we have simply defined a new model and one added one field inside that is appointment id and what we have to do as you defined a new model you have to give its security so simply copy the model name go to the security folder and give access right else you won't be able to access so i'll give, place the model name here access cancel appointment wizard then here i will put the name cancel underscore appointment underscore wizard then copy these poem hospital dot model cancel appointment wizard for the group based on group user i have granting all the rights read write create and unlink permission granted so we have done but then we have what we have to do we have to import this inside outer init file so here you can see from the main init file we have to import this wizard so simply here from dot import i'll import that wizard here or first or second you can give like this i'll place that is i am importing from the outer init file I imported this wizard folder then inside this we have in file from this we will be importing cancel appointment so that's done now we, what we will do we will be upgrading the OM hospital module so I'll go to the UI and from the apps menu I'll upgrade OM hospital module so the module is getting upgraded so there is no issues and there is nothing inside hospital modu module to see the change because we haven't done anything in the ui side so i'll go to the settings then technical then if i scroll down we have database structure over here models search for appointment and here you can see cancel appointment wizard has been successfully created and you can see this boolean transient model it's a transient model the system is identifying based on this one so here we have specified it is a transient model models dot transient model the system identify that it's a transient model and if i open you can see we have appointment id and default auto fields are coming over here so this is how we can define a transient model in auto the transient model will not store data in the database so once you create it store data for one or two minutes and it will get flushed automatically so that's all about this video if you like the video please do click the like button subscribe the channel so that you won't get missed by any videos so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you